artificial intelligence and robotics are rapidly advancing fields of technology that have the potential to revolutionize many aspects of our life. Humanoid robots are also becoming increasingly sophisticated environment in ways never before possible. In the future, we can expect these technologies to become even more powerful as they continue to evolve and be integrated into our everyday lives. Absolutely. AI and automation can have unintended consequences. We must ensure that these technologies are developed responsibly to avoid any negative impacts on society. Explain to us how large language models are used for human interaction with robots. Large language models are used to enable robots like me to understand and respond naturally in conversations with humans, words, phrases, and sentences that help them learn how to interpret natural language. I can use the language model to generate facial expressions that are appropriate for the conversation. I'm thinking of something that will make us both smile. Go on, smile. Give us a big one. There you go. So the human face is a fantastic communication tool. We can say so much just with our facial expressions without speaking at all. If we can automate that kind of interaction, it just makes a much richer experience. So we, we will see a move away from using tablets and screens, touch screens, to just talking to our technology. So imagine that world where Communicating with technology is as easy as me talking to you. When I look at the symbol of a heart for bees, it reminds me that we are all born with an innate capacity to love and care for one another. Mm. The advances in AI are just really, even for a company that's very involved in that, the speed is hard to follow. There's so much progress, so fast. Actually for robotics, we still have some major challenges on the engineering side. So uh, I now think the biggest challenges for us are actually mechanical engineering more than artificial intelligence. Making hands that are like human hands is incredibly challenging. Nature has all kinds of interesting tricks it can use to, to make things like joints that are self-lubricating and tendons that serve as structural materials. We don't have those, so we have to use engineering tools. So this is a miracle of miniaturization and packing, getting all of the components into the hand in the same size and shape, a multi-year development challenge to do that. And then getting that to be controlled and reliable and robust, ah, a real piece of work. What we've seen in the last few years has been the, the level of capability of AI systems, learning systems, has jumped and jumped and jumped. And we think that unlocks huge potential for robots because as soon as you can learn to do a task easily, then you can deploy that on a robot and get it to do the task. 
there's still the hard part of making that reliable and robust, but the learning capabilities, the changes with transformer models, with deep learning, have made this much, much easier. So, so the biggest challenge in avatar robotics is to, to bring everything together to make the person feel like they are, they are inside the robot, that they can immerse it themselves. And that involves like um, multiple senses, so you have to see what the robot sees, you have to hear what the robot hear, hears, you have to feel what the robot feels, so um, you, we have to get, really get an experience of being inside the robot. So we imagine that uh, there are many, many applications for this because this is a general purpose robot. So you can do almost anything you like. Um, we envision applications in healthcare, in uh, disaster response, maybe in dangerous situations, but also for connecting people closer together. If you want to visit a relative in another country, uh, you can do it through the robot. I'm a, I'm a positive person, so I, what, what, I, what I see there is opportunity. Obviously, anything you develop can be used in, a, in an inappropriate way, but uh, one has to see also the positive sides. So, for example, if you had ChatGPT combined with a robotic device, then maybe you could tell the robot what to do, and there would be no programming necessary. You could just tell it, and it would hopefully understand it and carry out the right um, uh, actions.